What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I'm going to focus in on the uh, possibility of Jack Eagle returning to Boston University next year for his sophomore year, as opposed to being a one and done that uh, you know many people, myself included, have speculated will happen. Uh, he will be the number two pick in the draft behind Connor McDavid. Those two things I can tell you for sure. Um, you look at his year this year at BU, going into the Hockey East playoffs, he's got 55 points in 32 games, plus 36 in the season. Really, he's had an amazing freshman year. Should become only the second freshman ever to win the Hopi Baker this season. He has really just done some big-time things. I can talk about what he's done this year ad nauseum. Having said that, you look at um, you know the teams in position to draft them, you know, Buffalo, Arizona, uh, Edmonton, you know, teams like that, and, you know, Another team like New Jersey or Toronto could fall, but right now you look at those teams, um, you know, being there. I'd say it's 10% he's back at BU next year. I, I talked about no Hannafin. I've talked about what I'd say Hannafin's 20 to 33%. He's going back to school. Um, you know, I think he he needs. Yeah, I didn't even go. 33 to 40%, you know, to be honest with you. I, I think he, he could use a year of college season. A defenseman take longer to develop. He's, just, I think, the second youngest player. Or he's, he is the youngest player in college hockey. Hannafin, so. Oh, no, he's a, he's a second behind Zach Wierenski. It's like, I knew someone was younger than him this year. Um, But you look at what he's doing, it's like he's playing top, you know, big minutes in a top 10 school. I'd like to see more from him offensively. But that'll come. His skating's amazing. You know, he's... I'd like to see him a little, a little more out of him in crunch time. Um, I, too often I've seen him play hot potato with the puck, um, you know, in, in clutch situations, and you know, that's either hand or there. But I, I'd say it's much more likely Hannafin's back in college next year, uh, as opposed to Eichel. I think will, will turn pro. But you know, that possibility is there. And you look at BU. I mean, there, there'll be a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. You know, when that starts in, in a couple weeks. And I think you look at um, what. Has transpired with the Terriers, you know, really having a, a Phoenix, you know, really coming from the ashes, you know, after a atrocious year last year. And, you know, I think I go look around and say, all right, do I really want to go to Edmonton next year? When, you know, I think if O'Regan, Matt O'Connor, guys like that stay at BU, um, you know, their their chances of winning next year are exponentially improved. I mean, they have a good shot this year. I think hockey, college hockey's wide open. Um, not totally sure on their forward depth. Uh, that's neither here nor there, though. Um, but, you know, I think if you look at that recruiting class next year with Jordan Greenway and, and you know, guys like that coming in, um, if they're somehow able to land Austin Matthews, I think Eichel would be foolish to leave, to be honest with you. Um, you know, that, that team would be a, a, you know, wire, wire number one team, kind of like the, 2009, uh, the 2019 National Championship. So I think there are a number of factors here. I'd say if I was betting my money, he's he turns pro. But you never know. You never know, and I think Eichel will um, explore all possibilities for next season. But he's going to be a hell of a call. he's going to be a hell of a uh, pro hockey player because God knows he was he's been great in college and will continue to uh, showcase that. Anyway, that's what I got sort of the power play with CJ on uh, the possibility of Jack Eichel returning to Boston University for his sophomore year. Stay tuned for episodes with the season and beyond. Later, guys.